My name is Jenna Yakis, and I am a former client and a former intern at Judy's House. My brother Jacob died on September 17, 2009 by suicide. Jacob was an amazing musician. He could pick up any instrument and play a song off of it instantly. He loved animals and he loved the outdoors. He was very funny and um, such a great soul. So it was probably about a month after my brother died that I first went to Judy's house and I can still remember walking into that big door of Judy's house and what room I was in and it wasn't like going to school. It wasn't like doing homework. It was something I wanted to do. It was something I looked forward to. I was a very shy middle schooler and I just remember feeling very alone after my brother died. I felt like nobody understood me, um, nobody, none of my friends had ever had someone close to them die. Um, I felt like the emotions I was having were, you know, nothing anyone else had experienced before because I'm 13 years old. It seems like these emotions are so vast and crazy and out of my control. Judy's house helped me not feel alone. I was able to connect with other kids who felt like me, who understood how I was feeling, and that was the greatest gift I could get. I think the car rides home were the best part. My dad and I would talk in the car rides about what came up at Judy's house, what activities did we do, how we were feeling after that. Judy's house allowed my dad and I to get closer because I saw his vulnerability, and it modeled emotional response in a positive way for me so that I felt comfortable sharing my emotions with my parents and with my family even more. I've never cried so much since I lost my son. I probably hardly ever cried before then. And I learned not to hide it from my kids. I couldn't, number one, but when we shared uh, the parents themselves, we talked about how we had to be strong for our kids, but part of being strong was showing your vulnerability and letting them know you were hurting as well. When we lost Jacob, we got a great support from our, our family and friends, but they, they left too soon. Um, the grieving doesn't stop, but the support does. And being given tools and um, <clears throat> a safe place to be and grieve was uh, just as helpful as, as anything could have been. It strengthened us all. It, uh, it made us closer, for sure, but uh, it strengthened us in our ability to be a family again, uh, feel safe, feel like uh, there was a tomorrow. Judy's house really became my home um, and really became a place that I looked forward to going and I felt comfortable and, and happy at when I was there. When I went to Judy's house and I felt the love and the care and I saw how important it was that other children get the care that I got, I was like, that's what I want to do. I want to be a grief counselor someday. And after I graduated with my bachelor's in psychology, I then decided I'm gonna come back to Colorado because I want to intern at Judy's house. And really it was a dream come true. In any tragedy, you hope for a silver lining to be there somewhere. And the silver lining is that Jen will go out and help other people go through this process. She will uh, take not only her experience, but now her education and help others that are hurting the way that we hurt at that time. As someone who has been a client and been trained in Judy's houses, philosophies and values, I now know that I can bring that out into this community and still share um, the beauty of Judy's house.